For this segment, we're going to look at the giant covalent structure. As I mentioned, we're going to focus on diamond and graphite. Okay. Now, diamond also belongs to carbon. Now, each molecule consists of a three-dimensional network of atoms held tightly together by strong covalent bond. Every carbon is actually bonded together to four other carbon. So if this is carbon, it will bond to four other carbon atoms and they will form a tetrahedral arrangement. Now you must bear in mind that in exam, you are required to learn how to draw the tetrahedral shape. So remember one circle on top and then three branching out and we call this a tetrahedral shape, all right? So let's move on. And the next slide. Now, for graphite itself here, in each molecule, every carbon is bonded by strong covalent bond to three other carbon atoms. Now, they will form a hexagonal shape. Now, this is the hexagonal shape that we are talking about. This is the hexagonal ring here. However, layer by layer, okay, so the layers of molecules, they are held together by relatively weak intermolecular forces of attraction. Now, you must bear in mind the difference here. Layer to layer here, this is the weak in this dot here, the dotted line, this is your weak intermolecular force of attraction. In other words, they are also called your van der Waals force. Oh, okay? Now, but as compared to just now carbon, carbon itself, when I'm looking at it, there is no intermolecular force because one carbon is attached to another carbon atom by strong covalent bond. You can see over here. But however, for graphite, this dotted line here shows that they are connected layer by layer by the weak intermolecular force. Now, it also means because of this layer, all right, they, uh, there is one, actor, uh, one electron that is delocalized. So it actually helps to carry charges and conduct electricity. So that explains why for graphite, it can conduct electricity because the layer... Remember just now it's one carbon to four for diamond, but here is one carbon to three. Okay? So if one carbon to three other atoms, one of the uh, one of the electrons is free. So therefore they have a delocalized electrons here.